Well, welcome everyone. So I'm just going to share uh, a little something before we start into the meditation. And so everyone just get comfortable. I heard this, uh, a funny story this week. Um, I was meeting with a, a colleague, a friend, a teacher of mine. And uh, we we're just talking about life, like practical daily human life. And um, we were speaking about my family and my relationship with my family, my kids and everything. And, and she said this funny thing to me. She said, you know, and she kind of smirked before she said it. But she said, Craig, you know, a family that prays together stays together. You know, and this was something that, you know, you could have heard, uh, you know, like uh, Mr. Flanders uh, or Flanders from The Simpsons say, you know, it's just a silly thing. But there was just a quiet truth, you know, behind her, her little joke with me. You know, this is one of the things that happens when we join together on the path. When we come together in prayer, when we come together in meditation, we deepen together. Our lives deepen individually, we deepen collectively. And so it's so powerful to pray together, to meet together. You know, meditation and, and prayer to me are <laughs> You know, just about the same thing. We're opening our hearts to that which is greater. You know, for thousands and thousands of years, human beings have spent lots of lots of time in stillness and silence. And, and we just don't do that anymore. We are eternally busy. And it's, it's really not how our nervous system is designed. We're not designed to stare at a computer all day. We're not designed to be overstimulated. We're not designed for that. We're designed to have periods of supreme silence and stillness. I live on the edge of this this great desert, and um, uh, I live on, in native country, so it's uh, Ute uh, tribal land and Navajo tribal land. And sometimes when I'm driving across the desert, now I'll, I'll see like a, just this native fella who will literally be out in the middle of nowhere. just walking across the desert. This huge, vast sky. And it may take him eight hours to get where he's going. And this is how, you know, we used to live our life. We used to walk and be in stillness, be in silence. Let all of our you know, the workings of ego just kind of unravel and empty out of us. But when's the last time any of us, you know, have done that? I've just spent a day in nature, or six hours, or ten hours, or ten days, <laughs> just alone and silent. And so this is, it's radically nurturing for the body to do this. And because most of us, we have jobs, we have lives, we have families that um, we live in, you know, small nuclear families, which are, you know, it's like everything is on us to do everything. In the past, you could kind of leave your kids for a handful of days with the tribe and they might take care of them for you. But most of us are so tied to our work, our career, our homes, hell, even our cell phones. And so meditation 
is this time just to stop, to completely stop, to drop everything, to rest in stillness and receive the stillness, receive the hugeness of the sky, the hugeness of the night sky, the hugeness of the big blue sky. To receive this experience of God, of divinity. To open your heart and to see that what you are is not just a busy thinking mind. If you dig a little deeper, you might find an ego, an id, something crazy within you because the nervous system has been so overstimulated. But if you take a, a few more steps further, you start to wake up to this, this silent, radiant luminosity. And so for those of you who haven't closed your eyes yet, I invite you just to close your eyes. And allow your awareness to take like five <laughs> big steps backward. So with the first step, you can notice the thoughts in your mind, the feelings in your body. But as you start to step further and further back, You begin to see and experience that there is a lot of space here. And I invite you to imagine that your awareness actually opens up on the left side, on the right side, and it opens up behind your skull. And so just take a moment and feel that. When your awareness is always facing forward, witnessing the mind, it can still be almost agitated. But if you allow awareness to step back away from the mind and then look to the left, you know, look to the right. And by look, I mean open to the left, open to the right. And notice that there's space on the left and the right. And if you allow awareness to open up behind the skull, you might notice yourself opening up to the infinite, to the experience of eternity. So don't think about this, but rather feel. Feel the direct experience of timelessness. As you surrender into it, it can be a little disconcerting almost, like disorienting, ungrounding. And 
that's okay. I invite you just to trust. That infinite space, just like the night sky, <laughs> is good. It's nourishing. It's refreshing. So we're just letting go into this. And so as you're noticing this silence, this stillness, this infinite space, I'm going to invite you to include your body. Include your jaw, your forehead, your face. your neck, your throat. So many of us hold a ridiculous amount of tension, especially in our throats or jaws. The face, the muscles of the face. Just allow it all <laughs> to let go unravel. We're letting the tension break. So relaxing the shoulders, the chest, the heart, and just let it come. Oh, I can see, just feel in the room that some of us are holding a lot of pain. Just let it come, let it unravel. into the stillness that's here. The tenderness of this infinite space. This space is not a dead space. It's a holy space. And it welcomes everything within you. So for those of you who are serious, let go of your seriousness. Let it crumble. to this vast presence of humility of this infinite space. If you have discursive thoughts, you let them unravel in this infinite space. If you have heartache, let this too be fully received, fully embraced. By this space.
So I'm going to encourage you to relax your belly, solar plexus, Ahara, Sometimes when we go through the body, we just have awareness of our front. I'm going to invite you to have awareness everywhere. The front, the back, the sides, the top, the bottom. So the upper back is relaxing. Mid back, behind the heart. The lower back. For any of any of you who've showed up carrying a backpack full of eight hundred pounds of karma, heartache despair, whatever it is, just let it drop, let it drop, give yourself permission to let the human self, the little me, <laughs> the personality, the one who gets beat up, the one who gets angry. Just let it all unravel in the space. Of the infinite. So you're taking deep, full belly breaths. Relax the pelvis, pelvic floor. Arms, the hands, the legs, the feet. So as we gently open the body, you may notice sensations in the body. Feelings, tensions, this and that. We're just letting all of that go. But simultaneously, I'm inviting you to wake up in the body. To notice that this silence is not outside of you. But this silence is the very fabric of your body. So in your fingertips, your hands, you may notice this silent, radiant luminosity. Your arms, your shoulders, your neck. Your chest, your belly. It's a silent, luminous spacious presence. pelvis, your legs, your feet, 
Feel the radiance. Experience the radiance. Acknowledge that what you are is not just a bag of bones. <laughs> what you are is more than these emotions. In the, in the human thinking mind, that what you are is this vast awake presence. It's radiant, it's alive. What you are is luminous. We are feeling, we are acknowledging. This luminosity. this divinity. Deep, full belly breaths. Just breathing in and breathing out. Just gently inviting the whole body to wake. And so from this space of acknowledging that what you are is divine, what you are is holy. What you are is God in form. God is in form. From this space, I invite you to open your crown chakra. In the most childlike and innocent way. Join me in this prayer, Mother. Will you bless me? Will you fill me with light? Will you come into this body, this form? Will 
Bless me with your grace. Will you give birth again into me? You flood the space of my mind, the space of my heart, with your most holy of love. So we're just opening and receiving. And for any of, any of you who this is new, I invite you just to imagine that the crown chakra is like a bowl. It's just receiving this grace from above. A shower of light coming down into you, into the space of the mind, We're inviting the throat chakra to be fully open and receptive so that this grace can continue to descend, come into the heart. So we're opening and receiving. And some of you who are struggling with your mind, with thoughts, I invite you just again, just to kind of take a couple step back, a couple steps back and just let go into the silence. Give yourself permission just to witness what's happening. And for those of you in the room who are being like a good Buddhist and focusing really intently on one point, on one aspect of God, I'm going to encourage you just to relax that. If your awareness is one pointed, if you're hyper focused, I want you to imagine that your awareness. Just like explodes open into 10,000 points of light throughout your body. And it's receptive. Receptive. Sometimes when we're too focused, we become a little individualistic. Like, I can do this. I am meditating. I am focusing. I am the silence. So if there's any of that, just, just relax that and open. <laughs> Remember, awareness is radically humble. It receives. And so in this moment, there's this higher intelligence, this higher grace than your own will. It's coming into the room. <laughs> Let the Divine Mother 
Let her bless you. Give yourself permission to be childlike and innocent. Give yourself permission to be flooded this divine grace light. For some of you, you may notice a pressure Pressure building, resistance coming forward. This is normal. Just keep opening. Surrender any resistance. Surrender any heartache, any emotion, any stubbornness. And this most holy of light, this most holy of presence that you are and that is coming into the room. It welcomes everything. It includes everything. If you have anger or rage or sadness or heartache, this light this love, this spaciousness. Embraces everything. So I invite everyone just to soften a little bit more. We are receiving God in you, as you. Deep, full belly breaths. Relaxing the belly. For so many of us, there's like a fist in the belly. Relax that. Let yourself be held.
Aru Perun Jyoti. Opening and receiving the Most High. So by now you should be feeling this incredible vibrancy, this incredible aliveness. Waking up in you as you. And of course, if there's other feelings here, human feelings, that's welcome in this space. And letting go into our divinity. Any human self or any human stuff that we're struggling with, just let it unravel. Rage, sadness, thoughts, whatever, it's fully welcome. If there wasn't room for it, it wouldn't be here. Deep, full breaths. So you're opening to the depth and luminosity of what you are. We're opening our crown and inviting this descent of grace down into us from above. And now I'm also gonna invite you to bring your awareness simultaneously to your feet, to your legs. And we're inviting this ascent of grace to come up from the earth, to come up from Mother Gaia. So we're not going to have a numbness or a deadness in our feet. We're going to be awake. Awake in our feet, awake in our legs, awake in our pelvis. And receive this ascent of grace coming up. So you may feel it as just a gentle, warm light. For those of you who are unaccustomed to this, you may feel pins or needles, dancing energy just coming alive. A silent space of awareness that you are. We're inviting it to wake up. To come alive. To literally be baptized in light. And 
deep, full breaths. Inviting the fullness of what you are to wake up. receive Again, if there's anyone here who's a little too serious, soften, smile. I'm going to invite you to melt. same way you would in a bubble bath, just to melt. And so we're receiving this heavenly grace from above. We're receiving this ascent of grace from below. We're breathing, relaxing our body. Letting go of any struggle. And be nourished. By the silence. Nourished by this radiant stillness. Nourished. by this luminosity that you are. So I invite you to notice what's happening in the belly. Radiant luminosity waking up. For those of you in the room sitting with rage or anger or sadness or grief, 
Just let it flow. Let it empty out of you in this light. Let it too be baptized in this most holy of light. Let it be received by this supreme stillness. So I'm going to invite everyone in the room to relax the throat, the jaw a little bit more. You can see that some people are a little too tight or tense in the throat and jaw just to relax that area. Relax the heart, the chest, the belly. If you have too much in you, let it empty out. If you have not enough, <laughs> open up more and receive this grace from above. And from below. So we're noticing what's happening in you. Are you awake? Are you aware? This radiant experience, Buddha nature, profound presence in the belly. Brilliant light flooding the body.
Deep, full breaths. Lord above, Divine Mother, flood me with your light, with your grace. Make me a conduit, the highest peace, the highest love. Bless me with greater patience for myself, my family, my brothers, my sisters here on planet Earth. I do not wish to be a mere mortal or normal human being. I wish to be something great, to be a goddess, to be a force of something good. Help me to forgive, to let go, and to empty out all this stuff I've taken on in this lifetime. Help me surrender everything which is untrue. And open into the highest. So I invite you all just to take some deep, full belly breaths. And as you exhale, just see this light going out to your friends, your family, your community. To 
those who drive us crazy, <laughs> you know, those who we had difficult times with. The people we love, the people we struggle with. To see this light going out in every direction. With that, I invite you just to gently open your eyes and to notice you know, if you look around the room, you know, if you look on the screen, that you see this beauty, this beauty in the form of brothers and sisters, this beauty in the form of quietude and spaciousness. If you look at anything with your heart open, you begin to see it's dancing with light. It's not a solid object. Everything we gaze upon is this divine mystery, just radiant, dancing with light. You don't have to live from ego. You don't have to live in a limited way. When we come together and we, we open to this hugeness, we're opening to a new way of being in the world. You know, the, the way I teach meditation, it's not, it's not something that has a beginning or an end. When we meet formally, it seems like that, but I invite you to wake up to this divinity, acknowledge what you are. When the meditation's done, don't let it in. Don't go back into your mind. There's no reason to. Just notice what's here that's divine what's holy, what's good. You are a gift to humanity. You are a god and a goddess. This is what you truly are. So, you'll have a wonderful evening or morning or whatever time of day it is where you are. May peace be with you all and... Uh, have a wonderful night. Good night.